so in this session we are going to discuss the health benefits of the nutraceuticals in the management of the disease so let us move towards the nutraceuticals in the gid disease so gid disorders refers to any condition which is within the gastrointestinal tract from mouth to anus this includes the stomach liver pancreas and gall gall bladder there are so many nutraceuticals are there which are being used in the management of the certain gastrointestinal diseases the polyphenolic compounds or flavonoids are found in the various greens and edible plants such as the strawberry apple tea red wine and the beer they are going to be used in the management of the certain gastrointestinal diseases then the flavonoids they are going to provide the gastroprotective effects and that this gastroprotective effect might be due to its effectiveness in increasing the endogenous prostaglandin reduction in the histamine secretion and scavenging the oxygen derived free radicals that is antioxidant effect and gastric mucus stimulation so whatever the gastroprotective effect we are getting due to the flavonoid it might be due to, uh, its effectiveness in increasing the endogenous prostaglandin then reduction in the histamine secretion then the antioxidant effect and the gastric mucus stimulation furthermore the plant origin flavonoid substances like a uh, solon that is a uh, soferidin extract then amaranth seed extract grapefruit seed extract and the capsaicin that is a chili pepper extract provide the protection against gastritis then flavonoid rich extract of a uh, Simgonthus bisulcatus shows the gastroprotective effect to the mucus and uh, prostaglandin. Then, furthermore, the quercetin, curcumin, licorice, and anthocyanide also be used in the gastrointestinal disorders. Quercetin prevents the gastric damage from the harmful effects of activated neutrophil infiltration by inhibiting the monoperoxidase activity. the curcumin decreases the gastric inflammation and inhibits the growth of h pylori so curcumin it is going to act as an act as an they are going to act on the h pylori isn't it and furthermore they are going to to inhibit the the gastric inflammation then the anthocyanocytes from the vaccinium myrtillus is a preventive and curative in the ulcers then licorice due to their antioxidant effect have a ability to accelerate the healing of gastric ulceration apart from this spinach cochia scoparia langaneria vulgaris panax ginseng imblica officinalis cypriza siroa piper betel and uh, pistachia lentiscus are used for the treatment of the ulcers let us see some of the examples related with the with the nutraceuticals which are being used in the management of the certain gastrointestinal disorder maybe you are aware about the sena right sena leaves which comprises the anthracnose glycosides and they are going to be used in the constipation so we are getting anti constipation effect then the cascara again it comprises the anthracnose it is being used for the constipation it improves the stool frequency and the consistency then mix the fibers the category is fiber it is used for the constipation and it is going to alleviate the flatulence and the bloating then uh, perella protestins leaf extract there is a traditional chinese medicine it is being used for the functional dyspepsia and uh, the it is being used as a anti spasmodic and anti inflammatory then apc from traditional chinese medicine which is being used in a functional dyspepsia and uh, used to relieve the symptoms of the functional dyspepsia then alginic acid it is a marine source isn't it it is a polysaccharide then it is used for the acid reflux and it alleviates the reflux symptoms then aloe vera gel from traditional chinese medicine 
it is going to be used in the acid reflux and effective for reducing the symptoms of the GRD. Then vitamin B, which is a water soluble B complex, it is being used in the colorectal cancer and reduces the risk of colorectal cancer, that is a CRP. Then the anthocyanin, which is from the flavonoid category and used for the inflammatory bowel diseases, it is having the anti-inflammatory effect and elevation of the tissue damage in ulcerative colitis patients. Then curcumin, which is from the flavonoid category used in the inflammatory bowel diseases, improved the clinical activity in that. Then gamma, then GABA, gamma amino butyric acid, it is an amino acid used in the colon cancer and it is an anti-proliferative effect. Then resveratrol, it is a phenol used for the gastrointestinal neoplasia, the target pro-inflammatory molecules and pathways. Then salium, it is a fiber used for the diverticular disease and improve the bowel function and gastrointestinal symptoms. Then quercetin, it is a flavonoid. Again, it is used in the diverticular diseases to prevent the triverticular disease. Then omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids, it is a PU fatty acid from the category polyunsaturated fatty acids used for colorectal cancer and it elevates the inflammation and preventing the colon cancer development. So here with we have finished the health benefits of the nutraceuticals in the management of the sudden chronic diseases like diabetes mentors, cardiovascular disease, cancer, then the inflammatory bowel disease and the gastrointestinal diseases. Thank you.